continuous thromboembolism abbreviated as the VTE it includes superficial and deep vein thrombosis of the leg or pelvis and even pulmonary embolism now VTE affects an estimated 6 lakh people globally with approximately 60000 to a lakh people even dying from this condition despite its prevalence 25% to 40% of all vt events are idiopathic making the diagnosis and prevention extremely difficult hello and welcome to medical dialogues journal club your daily dose of health and medical news i am dr nandita mohan and today i will be talking about a new set of guidelines on venous thromboembolism According to the new guidelines set up in JAMA Network Open patients with a low risk pulmonary embolism receive treatment in the outpatient setting the panelists included general internists thrombosis specialists pulmonologists hematologists methodologists and medical librarians in the initial treatment phase of acute venous thromboembolism the guideline recommends therapy with a direct acting oral anticoagulants over the vitamin K antagonist therapy given that the direct acting oral anticoagulants reduce the risk for recurrence venous thromboembolism similarly now with patients with an acute vte and cancer the guideline suggests that the oral factor 10a inhibitors over the low molecular weight heparin for initial and extended treatment Treatment with this oral factor 10A inhibitors should continue for 3 months followed by an evaluation for extended therapy. Also the decision to extend the anticoagulation therapy for VTE beyond 3 months is nuanced. The duration of extended anticoagulant therapy is not well defined in the set guidelines. The guideline however does not recommend the routine use of extended therapy in patients with minor and major transient risk factors. Additionally patients with VTE and no identified risk factors probably benefit from the extended anticoagulation therapy based on a reduction of the VTE events the chest guidelines on VTE are similar to the ones in 2012 and 2016 recommendations from the American College of Chest Physicians both older guidelines suggested that the anticoagulant therapy should be at least 3 months long in patients receiving treatment for VTE However for the oral anticoagulation the direct acting oral anticoagulants are preferred given their ease of administration the efficacy and effectiveness in preventing the VTE cases That's all for today stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon